five cents, five cents, ten cents. My name is Ryan Hickman. I am seven years old, and I'm the president of Lions Recycling Company. I've been recycling since I was three and a half years old. I get my recycling from my neighbors and my customers. Oh, thank you. I recycled 200,000 cans and bottles. I made about $21,000. My parents want me to save my money for college, but I want to save it for a garbage truck. Starting your own business is not that hard. I could barely hold it. What I'm doing keeps balls and cans out of the ocean. That helps the environment. I think more young people like me should start recycling. If you are recycling, just keep up the good work. My name is Phil Morgese. This is my daughter, Emma. We started this a little over a year ago, and it was originally uh, put together to help fathers in the community learn how to handle hair. I've been a single dad since she was a year old. So my frustration with hair began at a very early age when she just loved her hair. The wealth of knowledge over the years of doing my daughter's hair was a little much to throw on someone. So I decided if I could organize a workshop, get the guys together to help them understand hair. And here we are, 34 classes later, 300 plus dads have come through, do all of our classes for free. I try to encourage them and say, you know, even a messy braid is still time spent together. And that's really the most important part. It's not about the braid, it's about the bond. Having a male role model is important to teach them how men should be in their life. All girls need that support from a male figure. Gender roles, that's just gonna have to go. Fatherhood's evolving. You know, we need to stay connected with our children. That's really what's gonna change this world. When I tell people I'm a dancer, I get negative feedback. It's sad. My name is Gabe, I'm 11 years old and I'm a ballet dancer. It's not only a sport, it's an art. It's some way to put your emotions into movement. It takes a lot of brain power and memory to remember all the routines and perfect them. When I walk into class and I see that I'm the only boy there, it doesn't affect me. Of course, I would love for more boys to be encouraged to dance, but most boys just think in one direction. Dancing is for sissies. It's girly, but it takes as much effort to be a football player as it is for a dancer. It probably takes more effort to be a dancer than a football player. I want to say to the boys out there who are too scared to express their passion for dance, it doesn't matter what other people think. It matters what you want, what your inner passion is, and you should reach for that. I have 5,000 ounces of my breast milk stored in my freezer. It's not weird. It's a very natural thing. My name is Elizabeth. I am a mass milk producer. I have hyperlactation syndrome. My body makes 1.75 gallons a day. I have donated 700 gallons of my excess breast milk. That's twice the world record. Pumping is like an Olympic sport, and I am an elite, but it is not fun. My breasts wake me up in the morning because they're screaming, please do something about this. I have not gotten a day off in three years, but it makes a huge difference. I'm saving lives by donating. I'm a mother with a gift I can share. If you want breast milk, I have some. My name is Sky. I'm eight years old. I'm from Music in Japan. I came to Los Angeles to ski and surf. I've been skating since like I was three or four. I just love it. I can be strong and no one can stop me. I don't have a coach, I taught myself. I get to be my own person and I love to have my own style. I like skating with boys because it's pushing me to be a better skater, to go nerdier, get new tricks. I wish there was more girl skaters. I want to inspire other people. I want to show girls that they can skate. Doesn't matter if you're boy or girl, big or small, young or old, you can do anything. 
When I'm skating, it feels like I can be myself. A lot of people like my slime. They say it's different and really out there. I don't know why people are buying it, but I guess it's just really addicting to poke and make sounds. My name is Caitlin Nguyen. I live in Virginia. I'm 13 and I make Slimer. Slimer is just something that the community came up with for people that make their own slimes and then post it on the internet and then sell it. I have 180,000 followers and I get about 60,000 views per video. I sell batches of slime for six to $12 each. I've made a total of about $5,000 from my slime sales. Now let's go post this slime on Instagram. The money from Etsy, my parents want me to save for college, but I kind of just want to spend it on a stand mixer to mix my slime so it's like a lot faster. Kids sell slime in their lockers, and they're like, oh, if you want to buy my fluffy slime, and it's like $3. I make slime every day, and I think it's fun. This is tiring. <laughs> Think good things. Speak kind words. And do good things. Namaste. My name is Tabay Atkins. I'm 11 years old and I'm the youngest certified yoga instructor in America. I first learned about yoga after my mom beat cancer. I thought that if yoga is helping my mom heal, then if I spread yoga, it'll help others heal. All of my students, they really like doing yoga with me, and it's also benefiting them at the same time to help heal the mind, body, and soul. They always come back for more, and they really like it. All my yoga classes are donation-based, and I donate 100% of the money to kids who have cancer. Sometimes I feel different from other kids because kids at school say yoga is for girls, but actually yoga was created by men for men. I want to change the world and help heal more people. And I think if everyone in the world knows about yoga, then the world would be a better place. Hi, look at that face. My name is Linnea Latanzio. I am 68 years old. I'm the founder and director of Cat House on the Kings, a 12-acre, no-cage, no-kill, free-roaming cat sanctuary in the center of California. We currently house 700 adult cats and 300 kittens. From Bakersfield to Sacramento are all kill shelters. There are ways to stop the killing but most organizations believe they have no choice. I realized that the animals flourished in an environment where they got to be cats instead of in a cage where they were traumatized. I spent my retirement funding this facility. I gave up my house to the cats and I moved to a trailer. In the last 25 years, we have saved 30,000 cats. Our objective is to find them homes, but if they don't have a home, they have a life. My name is Julie Emanuel. I am six years old. I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. I want to be in the WNBA. I've been playing basketball since I was four years old. My coach is my dad. You probably train maybe 30 hours a week. Every day, this is what she wants to do. To be a successful player, you grind hard every day and you never give up. This is my specialist one. That's me, that's my dad. My ambition's for her, college. I don't care about nothing else. And she knows basketball is not forever. School is way more important than anything. She gotta have everything that I didn't have. When I grew up, I wanna be a doctor and a basketball player. My mom does skin surgery and that's what I wanna do. I promise I'm gonna make sure that you do something constructive with yourself. And no matter what it is, I'm gonna support you. Hey, I love you. Love you too. My name is Shirley Curry. I'm 79 years old. I live here in Rocky Mountain, Virginia. I've been playing video games since the mid-90s. That's when my son gave me my first computer and game. They keep my brain active. I'm not that good a player. I'm really derpy, actually, but I love it. I'm the grandma gamer. My very favorite game of all time is Skyrim. I love all the flowers that you can pick. I love the majestic mountains. I love the old dead trees. And it's an adventure, and I like to go on adventures. Where did he come from? There you go, the kill shot, yes. Glitch it. 
Oh my God. Give me the kill shot. The kill shot. Yes. I got the dragon soul. 